Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Growing Pilots YouTube channel. This morning, our topic is seatbelts. We covered it in the GPA newsletter, and this was in response to a customer's airplane went in for annual. The shop said, you have no tags on your seatbelt, therefore, I have to replace them. Your manufacturer is no longer in business, so you got to buy this over $1,000 set of seatbelts for your airplane to be legal. Well... That's one way to read the, the regulation. The regulations say that the other thing the regulation says in paragraph two is that your seatbelts can go off to a repair station and what they'll do is they'll use your old hardware, your buckles, they'll completely re-web it. They will also allow you to change the length if you want it two inches longer, four inches longer. A lot of the early Tigers had really short seat belts in the back. It's a way to get around that. What they'll do is they'll inspect your stuff, clean up your hardware, re-web it, re-tag it, and you're good to go in your airplane. And it's much cheaper than buying a new set. So if your seat belt's like this one, you've got some rust on the confederates, and you've got no tag, this seat belt can't be used. But the seat belt can go back to aviation safety products. They're down in Georgia with a fast turnaround. They offer 26 colors in nylon and 23 colors in polyester. So they'll match just about any interior. Now, some of the things you see on these seat belts, like AGAC started adding these uh, plastic uh, over wraps that would allow the seat belt to be easier to pick up off the seat side. Um, and they can be taken off and transferred to another seat belt. But I've got seat belts and shoulder straps here, and only two of them have tags. This one has a metal tag, and this one has the cloth tag. So again, if your seat belts don't have this tag, take them off, send them out to Aviation Consumer, because you don't want to be ramp checked and have your airplane grounded until you can get new seat belts. So that's one way to look at the interpretation of the regs. A repair station is an FAA approved repair station. It's not some guy doing these in his garage. He's gone through all the hoops and he has permission to sign those off uh, on their IA and <clears throat> they're good to go back into your airplane. So we hope you found all of this useful. Thanks for watching Grumman Pilots YouTube channel and have a good day flying your Grumman. By the way, all these sea felts are in black. Um, again, there's a variety of colors you can order today. Thanks for watching. Y'all have fun.